Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here Today, we're doing another unboxing. What the heck? But we're unboxing more than just, well, last time we unboxed two things, the Halo figures, so... Yeah! We're unboxing controllers. Multiple controllers. But they're all Power A. Power A just released a slew of new Nintendo Switch controllers uh, with new designs. Very um, similar body style to each other. Uh, sticks, this is a refined version of what they used to have. And um, I figured I'm going to pick up some of them because I like these new designs. I'm not going to lie, I'm a controller whore. Yes, I have a ton of controllers and you guys have seen. I have a number of controller-oriented videos on this channel. So um, I was out a couple nights ago went to Walmart, Target, and Best Buy looking to, oh, and GameStop to pick up Little Hope. Pre-ordered it at, uh, at GameStop, it didn't come in. So I went everywhere to find it. And on my travels to getting it, which I ended up getting, but it's too late unfortunately to make my Halloween video, sorry. Uh, but I am going to play that game uh, all the way through. But I decided to pick up some of these controllers. And why do I need them? No, but they're really cool. So let's get started. I'll show you a few. And then we'll get to unboxing. So this is the first one. We got a wired Super Mario. Now, because of the Mario 35th, we're getting a lot of these... Uh, I, I guess we're going to call them anniversary style controllers. One thing I do like about these new controllers, it, it's funny, they're all licensed but not made by Nintendo. Nintendo, I guess, stopped making pro controllers with any kind of designs and everything's done by Power A. But the new boxes allow you to see the controller. So I was like, are you really going to make these so I don't open them and put them on display? No, I'm going to open them. <laughs> That's what I do with my controllers. So, let's see, give you a better look at that one. There you go. Now, I got a wireless version of it. Well, close. It's similar but different. Same colors in terms of style. So, the white, the white on these controllers give it a very clean, very nice look. Um, but then again, it's probably just because you don't usually see the uh, white controllers too often, but the white and the red look really nice. I wonder why we like white and red here. Mm -hmm. I thought we like the black too, so red, black and red bandana. Okay, so that's the controller, but that's gorgeous. This one was the a uh, bit more expensive because the wireless ones are $49.99, but they're still much cheaper than buying any of the standard Pro controllers. Next is, we'll stick with the Mario theme. I got three Mario controllers. The GameCube style from Power A. So this one was really cool. <laughs> the red button. <laughs> These color schemes, though. <laughs> they all seem to match our channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to open all these for you. Pull them out um, and just let's see what they look like in you know, out of the box. And then for the last one... Pikachu! Yeah, okay, that is bad Pikachu, but still, this controller... I just thought it was gorgeous. Look at that! That's just a work of art! I mean, that's a gorgeous controller. Now, one thing about these Power A controllers, they're very good. The, the whole body style, the sticks, everything about them are very, very, very good. Now, some of these are actual um, uh, headset. Like, they'll say headset. The other ones have wireless and motion. So you can actually have the motion controls. 
But if I'm not mistaken, I don't think any of them have NFC. I think that's the, the only thing for Amiibo support. Uh, my other ones don't have NFC. Oh, and they don't have Rumble. So that was one of the things. No haptic feedback, no standard Rumble. That was a little bothersome. And these, I think all of them don't have it. They all have the built-in uh, rechargeable battery. Well, the two, this wireless one has a rechargeable, which is fantastic. That is really good. And that one has uh, includes the AA batteries, two AA. And batteries included, that's really nice too. So the other two are wired. And wired is fine with me. Usually when I'm making videos here in the game room, uh, I'm not too far from the console. So that's no big deal. So let's open them controllers and see how awesome they are out of the box. Alrighty. So here we go. And it's funny. Yeah, I always have my computer in the shot. I need a bigger table, don't I? Um, yeah, so these are the four controllers. Uh, Pikachu. So we're going to open the Pikachu one first. Move these over here. Take my little knife that we always use in my videos. Hmm. Thinking about the best side to open this from. We'll do the... Okay, so this is a top. It's not a side one. Okay. Because I usually choose the right. <laughs> it's funny how I usually keep everything to the right. Oh. Okay. Very nice controller. Oh, very light. Now I do have wireless versions, sorry, wired and wireless versions of these style of controllers. But they're never this light. This is a really light controller. But with no rumble, ooh, it's almost too light. But it's gorgeous, gorgeous controller. I really like that sky blue. That's really nice. Alrighty. So let's box this sucker back up. I'm not going to put them back in the box because I am going to use all these. I'm going to leave them out of the box. I'm going to put them on display. Maybe I'll use them in the other room. I don't know. I was hoping they'd give me a little blue cable to go with it. Alright, so the next one. Yeah, it shows black. So this one shows a white cable. So I wonder if we're going to get a white cable on it. Or they're just going to cheap out and just give us a standard black. Don't fight me. There we go. That is a very pretty controller. All right. I can feel the cable. I can feel the cable. And it's white. Whoa. It matches. Now that one. Yeah. They only come with the the little startup guides or whatever precautions thingy paperwork that no one ever ever reads we'll put you over here so all right so the buttons all match the sticks that's nice got the gray around the mario that, that is such a light controller wow I think I only own two wired versions of these, but the sticks were different. They had the larger caps, so it felt really weird. While now these are significantly smaller, but they're smooth. They remind me of the Xbox uh, One kind of style controllers, kind of sticks, but smooth instead of that little rigid feel. So these are very, very nice controllers. Definitely 
definitely worth the money. Those are only $25 a piece. So if you want a wired controller that isn't going to break the bank and you just need an extra one, definitely a good choice. Or if you're just a controller collector like myself, it's funny, I do have a number of these still sealed. I have some Legend of Zelda ones, the Golden Zelda one, um, a green and black Zelda one. Yeah, I have a number of Zelda ones still sealed. And I have a, a black and black, red, and orange Metroid one still sealed. Um, don't know why. Those are all the ones with the, the bigger stick caps. The ones that are a bit too large and they're kind of uncomfortable. I'm glad they changed them. Ooh. So we got a charger cable with that one. That is nice. So they give you the charger cable. Ooh, the weight. How is there? Okay. Because it has the built-in battery. Ah, voila. Well, hello. Hello there. This might be my new controller. There's rumble in this sucker. It doesn't show it, but you can feel them in here. You can feel the... This is fantastic. This might be the next best one. Sorry. Type C. Oh. Oh. Why would you buy anything else if you can get this one? Buy this one. Everybody, if you're looking at getting one... <laughs> 50 bucks cheaper than the pro controller gorgeous design great sticks it feels oh the weight to it that's that's quality it already has some charge built-in recharge and the button mapping oh gorgeous controller gorgeous definitely worth every bit of it now here we go this i do have a standard indigo version of this one because they released these back when they released Super Smash Brothers. Um, Ultimate. Oh, see. Box is beat up. Didn't even notice that. I think this was the last one when I grabbed it. Not 100% sure. Uh, whoops. Knocking the camera. These I actually use the most, the GameCube style ones, when I'm playing whatever. For some reason, those are my go-to style. But here we go. That is gorgeous. I wish the stick wasn't gray. If they're going to change the D-pad... Oh, look. They couldn't have made the stick black and maybe just... I could see leaving these, but this stick, if you're going to change the color of the D-pad... From gray to red, maybe make the stick red or make the stick black. Ooh, there's no... These are just regular buttons this time. Hold on, let me grab the other. Okay, so this is a regular one. Springy. It actually has a drop distance. This one, slightly less. Much more of a, a, a draw distance. Very different, no springy. Yeah. Wow, okay, interesting. This is the original one, this is the new one. So, that's interesting. Really nice, though. Like the red and black, of course we do here. So, we got this one. We got, oh, such a deal on that one. Great controller. Those are so light. Because, well, we know it's just a, a board in there. There you go. There. Alrighty, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you are uh, interested in picking up one of these. If you want a, a wireless one. That's a dang good wireless one. I mean, the weight on that one, it, 
it has rumble as the classic rumble motors you can actually feel them got the great sticks you got the wireless everything everything but nfc it shows everything but nfc oh that is fantastic so if you want the nfc ah you're gonna have to spend twenty dollars more or is it 30 i can't remember how much those controls are i haven't seen one or bought one in god knows how long but there you go guys tell me what you think tell me you know if you have any of these controllers if you bought any of them or if you bought any other ones let me know and remember hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video with your friends head on over to redbandanagaming.com look at our stuff over there yeah i put all kinds of new stuff as much as i can but thank you guys for watching again hit that subscribe button hit that like button like we always say be legendary. Thanks again. Oh, I cut myself on that. Ignore the cut. Uh...